Hello, backgammon community and sunny Florida players especially. Welcome to my little demo video. Uh, today, I want to show you both Zoom breakout rooms and backgammon studio heroes. First, we have Zoom. Many of you will recognize this Zoom meeting. This is the lobby if you're on a computer. And here at the bottom, I have this breakout rooms button. Now, as long as the host has initiated breakout rooms, you'll be you'll have this button. Sometimes it will be under the more icon. So if I make this smaller, you see the breakout rooms button is not there. But if I click more, we have join breakout room. Once you click on that button, it's going to give you a list now. Now, it used to just invite you to join the room that you were assigned to. Now you can actually join any available room. These rooms will match up with what's in the tournament bracket. And when you get your email that says it's time to play, or if you look at the bracket, you'll see that you have a room number assigned and you can join that room. And it's as simple as clicking join and then clicking yes. Once you're in the room, you can play your match. Maybe you clicked the wrong room. Same thing, you click breakout rooms. You can choose a breakout room and you can join a different room. Now let's say you want to go back to the main lobby. To do that, you're going to click on the leave button, which is currently covered up by the um, my, my video. So here is the leave button. I'm going to leave room. And then it's going to prompt you. You can leave the breakout room or you can leave the meeting. Now no worries. If you leave the meeting, if you come back, you'll be able to select a breakout room still. But if you want to just come to the main lobby and talk to me, you can leave breakout room. Or if you have something that you want me to join you in the room for and I can help, you can also raise your hand. And to do that or ask for help is, is what you're going to click. To me, it, it says you've kind of raised your hand. So uh, anyway, click ask for help and it's going to prompt me as the host to come to the room um, and help you. So that's Zoom. We'll go ahead and close out of that. All right, next we have Backgammon Studio Heroes. So here I've navigated to heroes.backgammonstudio.com and I'll click enter. Now I've logged in. If you haven't created an account before, it's going to prompt you to create an account. Um, account turnaround is usually within 24 hours. If you don't hear anything, check your spam folder and let me know. Once you're here, this is the main lobby. And so we have all the players here on the left that are in the main lobby. We have all the matches that are happening here across all lobbies. And what we're where we're playing is actually an external tournament room that's designed just for our sunny Florida players. So to get to that room, you click on this little arrow here at main. What's cool is that this lobby has a main lobby. It lists all of your friends in another lobby. It lists all of the people that are in your location in a third lobby, in your country, in a fourth lobby. They have tournament lobbies and then they have external tournament lobbies. What we're looking for is the external tournament lobby. So we click that and now it gives us a list. Now this list is alphabetical Often when a tournament, or what I've seen before, when a tournament room is becoming full, it moves it to the top. So if you don't see it in the alphabetical list, check the, the very top to see if uh, it's there. But our tournament room is called Sunny Florida Online Monthly, and you just click that. It's going to prompt you to confirm, click yes, and now you're in the tournament room. Now in this tournament room, there will be certain settings that will be restricted. Uh, so when we play matches, for example, all of our matches are going to be com competition format with tournament match type and the AB2, ABT2 clock setting. Now this is going to make it so that you, the observers cannot watch the analysis in real time uh, and that it doesn't give any feedback. It, it's not going to make any noise if you make the wrong play. Um, Backgammon Studio is very versatile. It has many different features. This tournament room will, will cut down on the feature or the selections that you have to make when you invite someone. Now to play a match, 
first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to set yourself to ready. So you click on this part where your name is, you'll click on this fourth column and you can set yourself to ready. Now you can say tournament ready for the tournament. You can also say looking for any match. Um, once you're in this tournament room, your opponent will be able to find you fairly easily and invite you to uh, the tournament, your tournament match, or you can find your opponent. Uh, in order to invite people, let me go back to the main room. I'm going to find someone who says they're ready to play. Uh, here's one, Ergen. And I'm going to click on his name, and it's going to open this challenge box, and I'm going to make my selection. Now, you're not going to have to select format or match type. You're only going to have to select whether it's a seven or a five point match. And then you can choose whether you want to play rating or PR um, for the tournament. If you click more, it's going to tell you the exact details of everything here, which includes the total time bank, the total clock time, and so on and so forth. And then once you're ready, you click challenge. Now, once you challenge someone that, I don't know if you saw the pop-up that, that came up. If you scroll back about, I don't know, 30 seconds, you may see it. It's going to pop up for your opponent that they've been challenged, who they've been challenged by, and it's going to show them what the settings are for that challenge, and then they can accept. So if you're waiting for a tournament match, you know, make sure that you verify who you're playing and the, what the match length is before accepting. Now, one really cool feature about Backgammon Studio is once I finish a match, it's going to, so here's, okay, here's the challenge box right here. So Radu A just challenged me to a seven point match with standard clock for rating and PR. Now I'm gonna decline and I'm gonna set myself to um, not be, uh, ready for any match. Uh, busy. There we go. Okay, so one cool feature is that when you play a match, it sends you the match file automatically, and it also sends me as the director of the match file automatically. So it's going to send an email to you, letting you know that you played a match and, and attach the text file. Um, it makes it very easy. Now, this only happens if you're in the tournament room. If you find your opponent here in the main room, one, you may play with the wrong settings, which would allow your opponent and you to get feedback on how you're playing in real time. But but also, you won't have this nice feature, which is that you don't have to send me the match file unless you're in the sunny Florida online monthly room. As long as you play your match in this room, it will send me the match file automatically, win or lose. All right, that's it. I hope you're going to join us for a sunny Florida monthly um, we will be hosting tournaments monthly, at least until the pandemic is over. Um, this weekend, is we start at 12 noon, and the next event is likely to be the first week of February, but stay tuned and we'll let everyone know. Thank you. This is Ben Friesen with USBGF on behalf of Karen Davis uh, and all of the directors who are moving to Heroes, which, by the way, is probably many of us. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you learned something. You can always reach out to me, uh, Ben Friesen at usbgf.org. If you'd like assistance with anything uh, from your local club, technology, even if you just need help setting up a board, uh, let me know. We'll find you help. We'll find resources that can help you. Um, that's what we're here for. All right. Thanks, everybody. Take care.